there's a lot of tabs open right now because there's a lot to consider when trying to build the best team or build the best set of rotations using the new LRGT duo. I'm going to be focusing on this character for this video. Later on, I will be releasing a video for the Z Boys. It might come out a little bit late because there's a lot of, you know, personal stuff I have to finish and deal with. So I'm sorry about that. But both videos will be out today no matter what. So stay tuned for that on the channel. But again, we're focusing only on the GT Boys here. Before we even get into it, though, I want to say thank you again for the crazy stream yesterday. A lot of love and support. I cannot thank you enough. And just because the banners are here doesn't mean the push-up challenges go away. You guys can skip this if you'd like. But for those of you that want to get a little bit stronger, hear me out really quickly. If you pulled the first multi you ever... I don't care what banner it was. Uh, if, if it was the first multi you ever did and you pulled one of the new anniversary LRs, congratulations to you. Uh, but you got caught lacking today because some people didn't do that and you stole the luck from them. It is what it is, all right? So unfortunately, you got caught lacking today. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you got to subscribe. Uh, Road to 60K, thank you for your support if you decide to do so. And uh, if you are already subscribed, which I'm going to benefit of that is getting stronger, drop down and give me eight push-ups. Because what do we, like, you're pay I'm making you pay taxes on your luck, all right? Essentially is what it is. Of course, if you didn't pull them first multi, then you can skip today's subscriber challenge or push-up challenge. I will try and catch you in lacking in the next one. Let's hop into this video. So, there's two different, I guess, team setups I want to go through here because let's just say, for example, you pull the GT boys and you want to run the GT boys as your leader. If you want to do that, your options are not really that great because they leave power of wishes and battle of fate and then an extra 30% to final trump card or shadow dragon saga. Obviously not a super strong leader skill. Okay. So keep in mind that these right here, I mean, these of course are the categories, right? They do have like we, there's good options on these categories, of course. Um, but in terms of like main superb rotations, the options aren't too, too great. We're looking at essentially this, right? You can run this main rotation here. Again, I'm going to be showing you a multitude of ro uh, rotations that you can run just in case you don't have some of the units for some of the rotations I end up showing you. Like if you pull both LRs, this is 100% a rotation you want to run. Um, again, this video is for those of you that want to run the GT boys as your leader. So if you pull both anniversary LRs, this is 100% rotation you should run. Five out of seven links. They are sharing key from their links as well. Obviously, both are under the 200% uh, leader skill there. Um, and again, this is just one of the stronger rotations in the game. From like the revive to the standbys. Like it, it's really hard to kill this rotation here right so definitely something you should consider running you also have this possibility as a rotation so we have the gt boys linked up with spirit bomb absorb goku the reason why i'm pulling this guy up is because he's getting an easy a during this very celebration i believe it's actually in part two um but the reason again like the reason this rotation works so well is because the gt boys um i mean like, they get key really easily but spirit bomb absorb goku actually allows that key you know obtaining process to be a lot easier and sometimes you may not have the best orb field but rainbow orb changing is such a valuable thing to have on rotation it's going to allow your gt boys to essentially hit 24 key every single rotation which is going to allow you to get that guaranteed additional and then maybe proc some other additionals as well that you may have within their hidden potential system they are saying essentially you know the same uh, five links here and he is under the 200% leader skill as well and with his EZA he's definitely a lot better definitely like a slot two kind of unit right you can also run him as like a floater we'll talk about floaters in a little bit but you can also run him as a floater for orb changing right let's say for something like this rotation here um, but this rotation itself definitely does work and really does support the GT duo in terms of obtaining a lot of orbs and doing extra damage and stuff like that um, then we have this possible rotation here, which is the Vegeta and Trunks linked up with the AGL Gohan. Now keep in mind that the, these, the, sorry, these two units are on Battle of Fate. And uh, Battle of Fate is the 170 portion of their leader skill here. They are not on Final Trump Card or Shadow Dragon Saga together. So they will not be, um, you know, obtaining those 200% buffs. I mean, Vegeta and Trunks, uh, hold on, let me see something. Final Trump Card. Is Gohan himself part of Final Trump Card? 
I feel like that Super Saiyan 2... Um, for some reason, sometimes I feel like Super Saiyan 2, Gohan, like, that feels like Final Trump card-ish to me. Um, what about Vegeta and Trunks with that attack there, just in case? Um, no. Okay, so yeah, they they literally are only on that category. Um, just to make sure that uh, one of them may have been on it, but not the other one, which again, is perfectly fine. Um, they are still sharing five out of the seven links. You have guard and guaranteed in slot one, stacking in slot two. Very hard to kill this rotation, especially in a late game. So definitely a very valuable rotation right there. And then we also, like I just kind of teased a little bit ago, we do have again, Gohan and Namek Goku here. Uh, it's essentially going to be what? Seven out of seven links. Namek Goku in slot one, if he gets touched, is literally going to launch a guaranteed additional which can help you stack defense a lot faster defense stacking in slot two this can be or make for a very strong defensive rotation and you know fights that end up lasting seven eight nine ten plus turns right and then we uh you know unlock some what's it called floating unit options so for example this bulma is essentially essential for this team bulma is just so crazy so if you ended up pulling bulma this is like a must must run a two turn buff it is so stupid a two turn buff a two turn buff is so stupid for this support here um the damage reduction that um that bulma is getting I, everything here is just so freaking crazy bulma is very 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 good um, especially for the first few turns for guarding and stuff. It's just a character that um, they really did bless us with. So um, if you have Voma, definitely run her on this team. You also have an option of this Dragon Ball Z Goku. Again, not the craziest character of all time. Should be getting an easy A at some point. Um, but he does offer support, which is going to be supporting any of the rotations that you decide to choose here. And then last but not least, we do have this Android 17. Actually, not, not last but not least, right? Yeah, we have, I think, two more characters to show. But uh, Android 17 uh, is another good floating option, especially with his EZA. We have what? Um, yeah, so an extra 50% defense here, 120% defense here, 60% defense. And not only is he getting, but everyone on the team. You giving 60% defense is a very valuable thing. 17% um, damage reduction if you're under a certain amount of HP an extra 40%. So you're at 57% damage reduction and then giving all allies 77% defense. It's just so strong, dude. It is incredibly strong. Um, and remember that he is on Battle of Fate, so he can fit under this team. Uh, and then you have God Goku that could definitely exist in that last slot or a floating option. The greatly raising of both 12 and 18 is definitely going to help him be better defensively before he gets hit in that third slot. The dodging is also, or can also come uh, in very very clutch as well so definitely an option that you want to run if you can and then you also have golden freeze their golden freeze are not going to link up well with pretty much anyone but um in short events the damage reduction could definitely come in extremely clutch for not taking damage in that last slot so um if you have golden frieza and you don't really have any other option to run here then i would definitely say this is yet you know uh, an option for you to run but in terms of you know this leader skill that's essentially it i guess you can say you can run rotations like the super lr super saiyan fours together which is definitely true um but again it's like the options on this team just aren't too 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 great um to make a really nasty nasty team right you, you can again use uh orange piccolo link orange piccolo the thing about him is he didn't really have too many good linking partners um, you can essentially run Gohan on this team as well again, but it, it's just not too many uh, fantastic fantastic options Which is why I pulled up this right here. We do have um, This God Goku for those of you that summoned on God Goku He's actually giving 200% to both of the anniversary LRs pure sands and power of wishes so if you decided to run God Goku as your leader instead this could actually be really interesting. He is changing orbs. He does need orbs. Um, if he if he was able to obtain his own orbs, uh, or not his own, but enough orbs in the third slot, he can be a really good floating character because he can guard. He is stacking his defense. He can perform two additional super attacks. 
orb changing. Like, he has value in that third slot for sure, right? He's also getting stats on super. And units who get stats on super, definitely, like, not, like, I'm talking about within the passive specifically. But get stats on super, uh, they're just better in the third slot or in the second slot, not in the first slot where they need to actually super first um, where, um, you know, to actually get those buffs. Whereas in the first slot, sometimes you get hit first. And that's not necessarily the what, like, these types of characters want to do. If you want this character to look their absolute best offensively and defense just specifically defensively i guess for this case um you want them to super before they get super because 50 percent is definitely a decent amount of defense to obtain right so if you were to actually run this character as your lead then it really just opens the entire door because again pure saiyans is getting the 170 so you can run this rotation this rotation this rotation if you wanted to this rotation if you want the same one we talked about before um, this rotation, right? This rotation, this right here. You can run this. You can run this. You can run this. I mean, you 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 get to start. You you slowly start to see um, all the options really start to blossom, right? When it comes to um, what you can actually get done with this team. And again, it's pure Saiyans, dude. Pure Saiyans um, is literally one of the biggest categories in the game. I only showed you one percent of all the teams or rotations you can run with this right if you like bardock and toro you can have that as a specific rotation um, there's just so many op the new world tournament goku right another great option that you want to that you can run if you want to and what's even better is that the floating units or the units you have in the third slot the options just because I mean, it's not the like there's no l or bulma on this team because bulma isn't on pure sands but you have options like god goku again you have options like carnival goku which is giving 50 percent defense to literally every single ally which of course is super 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 important and of course in long fights has the ability to force the enemy super attacks you can run carnival goku which isn't a support per se but is guarding in that third slot um and has the revive as well so it definitely has utility on the team uh you also have again this goku here you also have dragon ball goku who is orb changing not only that um but uh he is giving all allies eight percent damage reduction and crit if he can obtain enough orbs so it's like i'm telling you that the the utility of this of this team or this goku on the team like giving damage reduction to these anniversary lrs is no joke dude is absolutely no joke you can also go ahead uh, and run this Goku right here for the first few fights of a, a, a first few turns of a fight. He's essentially not, I wouldn't say immortal, um, but he's very, very, very hard to kill for the first few turns of a fight. So if, you, if you're entering a fight that only lasts five, six, seven turns, he can definitely shine in that event uh, for the most of it, of course, for the majority of it, I should say. And then God of Goku, again, another amazing, amazing, amazing options. I think the ability to rainbow orb change is absolutely essential and then the 77 percent damage reduction is just so stupid now he's a character who definitely benefits from getting his own orbs it doesn't really matter because with 77 percent damage reduction and 150 percent defense you are going to be okay right um with movie bosses or any pure saiyans enemy so again it's just there the, there's so many options if you want to run god goku as your lead i think it's going to open the door to just have like a more fun team building experience right you can run the three-year lrs on rotation the four-year lrs on rotation um you can essentially run some of these zeno units right the rat if you if you just like to suck off raditz he's an option the turlis units like you can you can literally like run this guy goku as your lead then like this rotation here and then maybe like the physical turlis linked it with like lr turlis or agl turlis not AGL because they have the same name, but LR Turles when he ends up physical Turles comes up to global, right? Like again, the, the options are literally insane. Uh, the seven year LRs you can definitely run. Um, uh, you know the GT orb changing units uh, are definitely have a lot of value as well, right? Again, it's just the amount of value on this team is insane, and the amount of value on this team is only going to increase as the game goes on. So um, I think if you want to have a better overall team then running god goku as your lead is definitely the, the the thing to do but if you want to run the gt boys as your lead you do still have some really solid rotations to pick from and some really solid supports to pick from as well so let me know what you think uh i will be covering the z boys in definitely a different video a little bit later on today uh but this is a unit that has a lot of options with their own team a little bit limited 
but since they're on pure saiyans and they did drop this god goku uh, it just makes for team building to be um very 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 fun if you end up having him because you can just again pure saiyans are literally on top right and the amount of supports on pure saiyans the amount of damage dealing units defensive units on this team is just going to be limitless and always will be limitless so hopefully you enjoyed i will see you in the next one take care and peace